<laughs> Hi. I never know how to start these. But we're doing a little photo you have shoot one today. You those catchphrases like, like hey, hey guys, guys, what's up? <laughs> yeah. Oh, the lighting here is really oh, cool. The lighting here is nice. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? It's Crystal and Jane. Hi. <laughs> we're doing a little photo shoot around this cute town today. We just went to a cafe and got some coffees. <laughs> Oh no. So we just went to one of those cafes and we got some pictures. Um, now we're kind of just walking the streets, seeing if there's anything cute. Maybe some like front um, storefronts that are cute or like benches or stuff like that. Um, yeah, that's what we're up to today. to leave I kind of want to take some with the sunset but it's so cold our fingers are frozen, <laughs> our, fingers are frozen. our noses are red Everything is cold. <laughs> it is freezing but it was a successful day it's okay we yeah got some good pics mm -hmm. we Cute found town. a restaurant yeah we got some really good <laughs> pictures <laughs> by the restaurant it had like nice like pine trees and like string lights and it was very photogenic. Our hands are so cold. Yeah, our hands are freezing. But definitely, if you're gonna be a photographer in the winter, I think you need to definitely have gloves. Yeah, Otherwise, for sure. like, you'll die. Mm -hmm. Yeah, gloves <laughs> are essential, we learned today. <laughs> Not mittens, I love mittens though, which sucks because Mittens really don't help. No, they're not very practical when you're trying to They're take definitely picks. cuter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you get the right size. <laughs> yeah. I got I got these really thick gloves from um, Urban Outfitters, mm -hmm. but I can't find them and it's like I just bought them. I feel like <laughs> people always buy... <gasps> Are these fat legs? No, they're not. <laughs> I feel like people always buy like those knit gloves. Oh, yeah. But they're not warm because they have huge holes in them. Yeah, that's true. Knitting. Yeah, same with like knit sweaters. Right. They're not that warm because they're all holy. Exactly. And you're like, <laughs> you seem like you should be warm, but you're but it's not freezing. Because I hate deceptive. <laughs> okay, I gotta put my hands in my pockets now. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. Bye. So I'm back at my house now. I think I'm gonna go grocery shopping and I really wanna make green bean casserole because I made green bean casserole at our friend's giving last week and it was so, so good. It was my boyfriend's mom's mom's recipe and so she gave it to me and now I'm like craving it and I feel like it's gonna be an obsession. I'm gonna want it all the time and so I'm gonna make it again tonight for dinner I think and I haven't eaten all day actually because I woke up super late. I woke up around like 12 and then I got ready for the shoot and then we went and shot and I was gonna get food at the cafe but there ended up being no food there just like coffee and like tea and stuff. And so, I don't know, I'm at a point where, like, I'm, it's been so long since, like, I've been, like, wanting food that, like, I'm not hungry anymore, if that makes sense. You know, like, when you have to, like, pee for a really long time, but then you don't end up peeing, and then you don't have to pee anymore? Yeah, I feel like it's like that. And so, I might just wait for dinner, and just have, like, a really big dinner, which I feel like is not very healthy, but that's just how, that's just kind of how the day went. But yeah, I had a really fun day. Um, I freaking love these pants that I wore today. So yeah, they're like these jeggings from Uniqlo and they're on sale for like 20 bucks. I think they're originally only like 30 bucks anyway, but they're on sale and they're so stretchy, but they still like look like a jean. Like they don't look like they're leggings, which is like the only thing I don't like about jeggings. It's like, I hate when they like look like leggings. Um, but yeah, so I love these and they're like this cool like tombstone print and like a navy blue color Which is really fun because I've been trying to get more like different like patterned and colored pants because I always Like I'm always the type of girl that like does the plain black legging or like plain black jeans so I wanted to branch out a little bit and Do like a nice like subtle blue, but it's still like it's not like crazy like it's still kind of a neutral because it's like a dark blue um, but I've been really loving them and I feel like I'm talking a mile a minute because I had coffee and I didn't have food so I'm really like hyper 
but I'm gonna go grocery shopping and I'll probably take you guys along we're probably gonna go to Wegmans because I heard the green beans that we have to get for them are only at Wegmans they're like really hard to find because they're their special cut of green beans so yeah I'll see you guys at the grocery store Clay's gonna think I'm weird <laughs> we're at Wegmans now getting stuff for the green bean casserole <laughs> okay, we got the stuff for the green bean casserole, plus a few more things. I think we're going to do a little soda taste test to see if we could taste the difference between Coke and Pepsi and the diet versions versus the normal versions, so that'll be fun. We're leaving Wegmans over there. I forgot the Wegmans sold alcohol, so that's cool. Um... What else? What else? Did I get anything else fun? I got, oh, I got these cheddar crackers that I'm excited for. They're made with almond flour. But yeah, I'm so hungry. We're gonna make the green bean casserole once we get home. Okay, so what did we put in this green bean casserole? You gotta get the crispy onions key to a good green bean casserole and then you gotta get two cans of cream of mushroom soup a cup of chartreuse cheese and half a cup of mayo and a 40 ounces of frozen green beans and you just mix it all together and you bake it for 20 minutes and that's it um, and oh yeah lemon juice i forgot you just put a little bit of lemon juice this is our green bean casserole. She's beautiful. You have one fork. Yeah, that's why I had to do the dishwasher. Well, how are we going to eat? Yum. Yeah. Let's see. How is it? <laughs> Does it taste like the normal one? It just tastes like it has more green beans and more lemon. Yeah. We used a vegan mayo instead of normal mayo though. And we added more green beans than usual. I just think it tastes like, it just tastes less jerky, more green beer. Yeah, it is a lot more lemony, wow. It's good though. Mm -mm. What's up guys, I just wanted to come on and do an outro. We actually ended up going straight into the soda taste test and I decided to put it to two different videos because with the soda video clips, um, it just ended up being super, super long, and I wanted to cut it short and just end the vlog right here. So be sure to watch our soda taste test of which ones we think is a diet soda versus just the normal soda and what soda it is. If we could tell the difference between Coke and Pepsi, because we also did Dr. Pepper, but it's pretty obvious which one's Dr. Pepper. Um, so that was kind of just like a bonus one. But yeah, make sure you watch that video and I hope you enjoyed our, the vlog for our photo shoot and our green bean casserole making. It's a super easy recipe so if you love green bean casserole, definitely try that recipe and let me know how it goes. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you have a great day.